Hello everyone, my name is Yemi Kuti, humbly saying hi from the other side of the screen. Today, I'm going to be bringing to you another real estate masterclass from Nigeria's number one online marketplace, GG.ng. Today, we'll be talking about the rights of a tenant in Nigeria. There's nothing worse than living under the roof of a landlord who feels he is high and mighty. But the good news is, no matter how high and mighty a landlord might project himself to be, no one is higher than the law in Nigeria. And the tenancy laws in Nigeria were set up to protect the tenants against oppression and the like. The tenancy law in Nigeria make ample provision and protection for illegal tenants in Nigeria. Here they are. At number one, you have the right to a written agreement. So this to me is a no-brainer. You're entering into an agreement with someone and for me, the logical thing to do is for both parties to come together, sit down and write down the terms of this agreement and they both sign. If a disagreement then pops up in the future, you and the landlord can go back to the written agreement to see what it said. So it is important that you demand a written agreement from your landlord. You could also have a lawyer help you review the fine prints. If you get this contract wrong and something uh, a problem arises in the future nothing else will be able to save you aside this written agreement you could do a quick internet search to find the sample of a tenancy agreement in nigeria and this will help guide you when you drop yours at number two you have the right to the issuance of receipt of payments so if you buy a new phone would you leave the shop without asking for your receipt so why else would you pay a considerable amount of money to your landlord and think asking for a receipt would be an unnecessary inconvenience. What if, God forbid, the landlord wakes up the next morning and has brain touch and comes to say you haven't paid the full amount or even worse, you haven't paid anything at all? I know that these days, bank alerts and bank statements can serve as a proof of payments, but without an actual receipt which actually shows the amounts to be paid as well as the purpose of payments, the landlord can come out to say that these payments was for something else or was just a deposit from the full sum. So, always ask for a receipt after you pay your rent. Number three, you have the right to peaceful enjoyment of the property. If you paid for it, you have the right to enjoy it for the duration that you paid for. As long as you're not constituting a nuisance or causing damage, just about every other thing goes with regards to your apartment. Don't let the landlord dictate to you where you should use as your master bedroom, where you should place your TV, what color of bulbs you should use, and so on. Your property is your property. Number four, you have the right to a valid notice to quit. No landlord can come and kick you out of his house without any prior notice. I mean, he cannot just wake up one morning and say he no longer wants you living on his premises, no matter what the reason may be. This is even if you're owing rent. The landlord has to strictly comply with the tenancy laws in Nigeria before you can be evicted. The quit notice for a tenant must be six months beforehand for a tenancy period that exceeds one year. Some landlords can add a clause that you can be evicted without a prior notice and this is another reason why you must carefully read your tenancy agreements with the landlord before signing it. Your sample tenancy agreement in Nigeria will have the name of the landlord, the name of the tenant, the address of the property in question, when the quit notice will start and also when the notice will end. The quit notice law in Nigeria actually deserves a thumbs up. Number 5. You have the right to a compulsory 7 day notice to recover premises. In order to prevent embarrassment on the part of a tenant, the recovery of premises law in Nigeria prohibits a landlord from spontaneously showing up on his premises to evict the tenant. This is even after the end of the valid quit notice period. After the end of the quit notice, the landlord has to notify the tenant as well as the court seven days before he can come around to recover his premises. Unless he does this, he cannot show up with thugs or even policemen to try to recover his premises. This law was actually set up to preserve the dignity of the tenant. Number six, you have the right to a fair hearing. This is actually a fundamental human right, which is not just confined to the fairs of the tenancy laws in Nigeria. As a Nigerian, you're entitled to a fair hearing in the court of law. The court must first hear your side of the story before passing judgment. The court cannot pass any judgment on any landlord slash tenant tussle without first of all hearing the sides of both parties. Number seven, you have the right to sue your landlord for trespass. Forget that the landlord owns the property. If the landlord trespasses unnecessarily, you have the right to sue him. Once a tenant occupies a property, the law transfers all the rights of this property to the tenant and this cannot be revoked unless it's by the law or by the tenant himself. And so there you have it. Those are the seven rights of a tenant in Nigeria. 
So if you like this video, we would like for you to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below. We would also love for you to click on that bell so you'll be alerted anytime we post new and insightful content that you would love. Kindly also follow us on all our social media channels and visit us on gg.ng. Thank you. Gg.ng. Sell faster. Buy smarter.